Hi YouTube, this is just going to be a hopefully a quick video. I have five puzzles that I have put together and I have them in these poster frames. This one is a lenticular puzzle. Uh, I believe it's spelled L-E-N-T-I-C-U-L-A-R or E-R puzzle. It's a big circular disc. And if you look, look at Marge Simpson. Everyone knows about Marge Simpson. The big blue beehive hairdo. Now watch as I move the camera to the left and to the right and you'll see her eyes move. Did you see it move? Look at Bart. Yeah. This one cost me I think like $10 over at Walmart here in town, but I went back there I think it was a couple days ago and they didn't have any. So your best bet if you want to get one of these puzzles is to go to Amazon.com and type in uh, Simpsons Lenticular Puzzles. Alright, that's puzzle number one. Let me show you what else I have. Got the bathroom door shut because the cat likes to go in there and lay on the bath towels. And I don't feel like drying myself off after I take a shower with cat hair. Here's the second one. Just your standard puzzle. Got this one at Walmart. They don't have them up there anymore. I rechecked. But it's just a, just a puzzle of a Maine Coon. And it just barely fit in there. And when I'm talking about just barely, I'm talking about you can't get any closer than that. This puzzle is 18 by 24 and the picture frame here or poster frame where you want to call it is 18 by 24 and when I put it in here I literally have it squeezed right on the you see where the out part outside part of this is that little strip there I got squeezed inside so if this were to ever be taken out there's a good chance that it may damage the edge of the puzzle but yeah there's the main coon puzzle it was easy to put together except for except for getting the face the paws and the uh, area rug but other than that it was fairly easy to put together that was puzzle two here is puzzle number three I don't know the name of it but again I got this at Walmart it's an 18 by 24 puzzle the poster frame is 18 by 24 and again with the cat puzzle I just barely fit the thing in here. If it was like 18 and a half, or 18 and a fourth, or 18 and a third, it would not fit. This one is the first one. This one has sentimental value to it because I came home with it. I was putting it together. I already had the poster frame. I was putting it together. My four-year-old niece, she came over and she was putting in... You see where the... The ridge of the mountain right there where the water is yeah she she put those puzzle pieces in there four-year-old yeah and the puzzle is made for an adult yeah that one has some sentimental value because she helped me put that together and finally the last puzzle hi mittens Yeah? Careful. The last puzzle that I have, you're not going to be able to see it real well, but if you've ever been to Kentucky and you've been to the Ark, some guy over there in Kentucky who, I don't know if it was a an Amish person or just like a regular master carpenter, but someone physically built an identical replica of the Ark. See that? It's in Kentucky. My mother and went over there for a vacation and she came back with this and two other things which I'll show you here in a minute. But it says Ark Encounter. Just love it the way the sky looks against the Ark. This is a Sunset brand puzzle. As you can see, the puzzle is too small for the frame, but I don't have an appropriate size frame. So, remember the arc, okay? Remember that. 
is I'm going to show you a couple other things that she got me. Number one is the pocket guide to Noah's Ark. It tells you everything that you need to know about the Ark and everything. And one, the second thing that, uh, that she got me besides the puzzle and the book, I'm not taking this out because I don't want it to get damaged. It's a miniature version of the wooden arc. Because no one around here, my niece were to come over, she'd play with it, it would get broke. The goofy cat, Mr. Mittens, would somehow knock this thing over and break it. It's got that silica gel packet in there. But the back here shows what it looks like inside the box. See, that's right there. That's what it looks like inside the box. So, I don't have any reason to take this thing out. If I had a display case, I probably would. But I don't, and I'm in an apartment, and you know what happens in an apartment, and wood, and children, and pets, so. But yeah, that's my, uh, that's my puzzle collection. I'm going to be getting one of Jesus Christ, so when I get that and I get it all put together, I'm going to be getting another one of those giant puzzle uh, poster, giant poster frames like I have the arc in. And when I get the puzzle put together and I have it in the, that frame, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay? So, watch out for puzzle number six.